The city of Seattle accused of discrimination for closing a park ahead of a planned prayer rally. The city says it shut the park down due to, quote, anticipated crowding from the Christian event, despite left-wing protests that continue throughout the city. But the showdown didn't stop the prayer rally, which was held in the street. Let us worship rally organizer and founder of Hold the Line, Sean Foyt, joins us now. Hey, Sean, so good to see you again. Hey. Good morning. Oh, so good to be with you guys. Well, good we morning. just love what you're doing. I know you're traveling around cities and, <laughs> and you're promoting um, revival instead of riots. But the city of Seattle, what happened over the weekend when you tried to do that in Seattle? Well, you know, it's so wild because yesterday they had on Fourth Avenue in Seattle, they had Antifa rioters throwing mob cocktails at policemen. And yet the city focused their energy on our peaceful worship and prayer rally in Gasworks Park. They barricaded the whole park. They put fences around it. I don't even know how many, how much tax dollars was wasted on that. And uh, were blocking us out from gathering to worship. What was their reason? What did they tell you? They just said anticipated crowding from an event. I mean, we were the only event that was planned. You know, we were the only rally that was scheduled to be there. So it was obviously a targeting and a discrimination towards believers in this city. What do you think the real reason is? I mean, I, you know, there's just a bias, you know, there it's the height of hypocrisy right now that they're letting these cities, you know, uh, succumb to rioting and burning and pillaging and yet they're targeting Christians. Yeah, so this is what the city of Seattle said about closing down the park. They said, out of concerns for the safety of all those who visit Gasworks Park, we have opted to close the entire park for the day. <laughs> Seattle Parks and Recreation does not allow unpermitted public events to take place in Seattle Parks and ask the public to continue to adhere to current public health guidelines so that we can keep our parks open. You know, Sean, I know you've traveled around. That was your 21st city. Why are you doing this, and what are the crowds telling you? Well, by the way, last night it was pretty easy. Uh, you know, we just pivoted and we called it a worship protest. So now technically it's legal and we went to the streets. But yeah, what we're experiencing across America is, especially with the churches being closed and, you know, these godless politicians that are taking aim at the church, you know, people are rising up. There's a backlash that's growing. We had 12,000 people that gathered with us at the Capitol in Sacramento two nights ago, and it's just continuing to build momentum. Sean, tell us about your story. I know you did you get saved in college? Is that I was reading about your life last night, and it said that you, <laughs> what, what happened? Well, I grew up in church, and my parents were both um, full-time medical missionaries, and so I grew up watching the move of God and other uh, nations in the world, and really have largely been focused on other nations until the pandemic hit, and we just, you know, wasn't able to travel anywhere, and so I felt like the Lord said, focus on your nation for the sake of your children, you know, fight for America, and so that's what we've been doing. I know you have four beautiful children, your beautiful wife. And uh, thanks so much for always coming on our show and saying yes to our invitation. And thanks so much for what you're doing. Our country needs faith right now, and we need God more than ever. Thank you, guys. You're thanks welcome. for supporting us. It you're really welcome. means the world. You're welcome. God bless you.